What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Brawl Stars video. Today we are going to be playing some Brawl Ball and we're going to be talking about what I think is really awesome in the new update because there are quite a few really cool changes that they've made. I know that a lot of you guys are going to say that I'm late on this and everything and I know that I am. Sorry about that. Just had finals and everything and I've got a couple finals next week but that's pretty much it and then I'm done with college for the semester. I've got like a month or so off. It's going to be great. We're going to be doing lots and lots of fun Brawl Stars content in the meantime. And then obviously the new updates coming out very, very soon, which I'm very, very excited about. So I figured instead of just doing the typical run through of everything that actually came out of the Brawl Talk, we might as well just go over what I think is awesome. And then I can comment more on things that I think can be expanded on or maybe just talk about things that I think are really cool for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so we're doing Brawl Ball. I want to get some trophies with Bull today. So we're going to be doing just that. So first and foremost, I'm going to be like looking over here, by the way, guys, because I do have like a list of everything that I want to talk about in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We've got Android and global release. Let's talk a little bit about that. So they said that it's not coming right now because they want to focus on the major changes that they're making to the game. This is completely, completely understandable. I totally respect this decision because it means that they want to take their time, make sure everything's good, everything works out okay, because these are major changes that change the flow and progression of the game. So it would make sense that they would want to change this before they actually, you know, make any real decisions. God, that was terrible. I'm so sorry. You guys, you guys just had to witness that. So before they actually make any full-on decisions on how they're going to be moving forward, um, it, it probably would be better to establish everything like that before they actually go global. It just makes sense. It, it's a good decision, I think. In my opinion, it just makes a lot of sense for them to be doing things how they're doing it. So... Um, I, I like it. I like it. I'm a big fan of the way that they're running things right now, and um, I'm excited for the possibility of possibility of an early, early, early 2018 global release. I mean, ideally, you know, it, it definitely could, it definitely could be farther out than that if they want to do a whole bunch of other new features and everything before that. But I do think that it's likely that we're going to end up seeing it early, early 2018, and. You know, I'm hoping anyways that that's exactly how it's going to go, but we'll have to see, obviously. Oh, boy. Can we get that kill? No! Oh, okay. We, we're good. We're good. We just need to defend for a second. We got everything opened up. We're good to go. We can roll forward. I'll go into the next topic in just a second. I just want to focus on getting this first goal real fast. Kind of important, I think. Um, and then, then we can go casual mode and just sort of make sure no one gets any goals or anything like that. Pass me the ball. I can shoot it. I can super shot it. Just pass me the ball. It's not that hard, guys. Good grief. Like, it, it isn't that big of a deal. I can just super shot it very, very, very easily. Just, just bam. I'm going to super shot it. It's going to be great. Bam. Oh, that's, that's not working out for us. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. We're got, we got to heal up right there. That's for sure. Okay. Kill bolt. There we go. That, oh no, it's over there. Oh, geez. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We scored the goal. All right. So the next thing I wanted to talk about in the video is basically the special abilities. All of these new special abilities for the uh, for each brawler, essentially. Um, every single brawler has a new just ability or passive of some kind that's going to be added to, I guess, their attack or their super or just, you know, passively implemented on them. For example, Colt gets faster overall when he's maxed out and has this ability unlocked and every single brawler has one um apparently it, it makes it so spike super can heal him as well um i think shelly was going to have some sort of little pet that goes along with her tara gets a little pet um apparently shelly's not getting that same special anymore um i think they're going to be called specials or abilities or something like that i'll get the terminology straight when i'm actually talking about it in game once it releases but right now the terminology for this new stuff is all up in the air, so I can't say for sure how it's going to be called or what it's going to be called uh, when the update officially does drop, but pretty awesome, you know? Um, I think that there's a lot of room for them to expand on that concept, make it so each brawler has a little bit more customizability in the future, and I'm really excited for the possibility that we do see some increased customizability for a lot of brawlers. That was the worst super in the history of bull supers. Oh my god, guys. 
That was so bad. That was so bad. I'm sorry you had to witness that. That was really, really freaking bad, man. All right, so... Oh, geez, I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, so these special abilities basically are just opening the door to customizability in Brawlers. And I do think that that's going to be something that they can expand a lot on in the future. I think it's going to be a lot of fun if they do end up expanding on it in the future. And maybe we get something like a just an equipment system or something like that. You know, something where we're given the ability to customize our brawlers to a point where it feels like we could both be playing the same brawler. Me and my opponent could be playing the same brawler and yet we could be having a completely different experience and be using completely different play styles. I think that that has a lot of potential. That line of thinking has a lot of potential. I'm excited to see if they actually do ever implement something like that into the game. So, um, this is just like a, a, a first step, you know, it's, it's a first step sort of functionality in making things unique and different for every single player in every single situation, which is very, very cool. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. No, okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, things are okay, we're doing fine, we're doing fine, you're getting super, I just flattened, I just flattened him, oh my god, I flattened him, that, <laughs> that barley, He's not coming back. He has been absolutely just... He, he's been flattened into the earth. He is one with that grass right there. Like, there is no coming back from that one. All right, that's going to be a kill, hopefully. Yes, yes, that is a kill. All right, let's run this one forward, guys. We got this push. We got this push right now. I'm, I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling this one. I'm going to super shot. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, I got tagged. I got tagged, guys. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. This push could be it. This push could legitimately be the game right here. Oh my god, that was so close! Holy crap, man. Alright, we've got an, a really solid push that we can do right now. This is such a good push. This is such a good push. Pass, there we go. We got the pass, and are we gonna- Oh my god. Oh my god, no. No, guys, no! They got the open- They got the open road. This is it, guys. This is the game. There's no way that they're able to kill him before. Oh no, we would have, oh, if we would have caught it, that would have been good. We would have been fine. Okay, so moving on. The next thing I want to talk about in the video, we need to go a little bit quicker through these. Got star player, even though we lost. That's kind of cool. Uh, we need to go a little bit quicker though. So the new UI overhaul. That's so, so nice to see. Obviously, I like the UI as it is right now, but the way that Power Bang and Rumham were talking about it in the Brawl Talk, I'm a little bit excited to see what they have up their sleeves. Obviously, the UI functions nicely. It's smooth as it is. But if they if they felt like it was a big enough deal that they needed to bring it up in the Brawl Talk and, and like make it so it was a prominent thing that they talked a lot about, I mean, I think that that's pretty important to, to mention in this video. And, you know, I'm a bit of a graphic design nerd myself. I really like designing things. You guys know I make all my thumbnails. I make all my overlays and everything like that. It's something I just really enjoy doing. So whenever something neat comes out, that was terrible. I was supposed to super there. I just gave them the goal. I just gave it to them. Uh, whenever something new comes out with the UI and all that, I'm, I'm excited. So... The fact that they thought they needed to bring it up, I mean, I'm excited to see what they've got under, they've got up their sleeves, I guess, to put it there. Um, so, next topic, there was a mention of some kind of new leaderboards. They only mentioned it very, very briefly. I'm not even sure if that was meant to be um, something that was necessarily revealed because it was revealed like it wasn't something that we needed to be made aware of. It was revealed just really, really casually when they were talking about the UI. I think it might have a little bit of something to do with the actual UI changes themselves and maybe not necessarily the actual leaderboards. Um, they, they probably aren't changing, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at here. So, uh, or at least changing too much. If this is actually a real major change, I'd be really, really excited to see. But, uh, oh god, we're dead. Good grief. I really need to start affecting, uh, the, the games a little bit better here. This is really bad. I'm just, I'm trying to talk at the same time as I'm analyzing stuff and giving my thoughts on everything that's a, a bit difficult. You know, I think I'm getting better at it, but still not easy. So, oh, geez, we're dead. We're dead, boys. We're dead. It's over. Pack it up. Pack up this game. Oh, my God. Could we please take out the Nita? Thank you. Thank you. I am going to die here. Okay, we're going to just try to take out... Oh, geez. I got 
I got, like, drive-by killed by Mortis there. That was crazy, man. Okay, so Mortis is playing his butt off right now. He's really, really trying to get in right here. All right, Primo supered. He's just, you know, he's just doing his thing. All right, that's going to be the game, unfortunately, to lose that one. So, moving on. So, so I guess, wrapping up new leaderboards. We, we don't know if there's actually going to be legitimately new leaderboards here, or if it's just something that was sort of said to indicate that they're going to look differently, not necessarily function differently, because, like, the UI changes were mentioned right before talking about that. Um, and then it wasn't really expanded on at all. So I just wanted to bring that up because I thought it was an interesting point. And if they did change it around, make it so there's a little bit more endgame competitive stuff going on here. Um, I'm, I'm excited. But either way, you know, cool stuff. Moving on, we've got no more duplicates from Brawl Boxes. That is actually really, really exciting. I know that's a, a main point against the game as it is right now in the structure of monetization as it is right now. I know a lot of people don't like the way that it feels to just open up a whole bunch of draw boxes and then end up not getting anything new from it. It just that it's just not a fun feeling. It really, really isn't. So I'm excited that they actually did decide to change that and make it so it feels at least maybe a little bit more satisfying, a little bit more gradual in the progression and everything like that. It's nice to hear. It really, really is. Here's over there. Give it to Dynamite. Blow Dynamite up. He is gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You're kidding me right now. He just walked it into the... That was really bad. That shouldn't have happened. Okay. So, what do we do next? Well, we, we let them waste their supers, I guess, is a big thing here. And then we got to play this really, really, really freaking well. Really well. I got to not waste my super at all. That could be very, very bad. Okay, we're going in here. We're going in here. I shouldn't have died there. Okay. So, moving on. Uh, I, I guess that uh, a main thing about the no duplicates from Brawl Boxes anymore point is that it means that it's probably going to be easier to get every Brawler, but not necessarily as easy as it was to just just finalize, max out every single Brawler, you know? So, so getting them all maxed out is probably going to be more difficult now, but getting all of the Brawlers to begin with is going to be easier and probably cheaper. Which is something I thought, I, I wasn't going to bring it up, I wasn't about to bring it up because I didn't want to sound like I know all the statistics and all the game development and everything um, that I'm sure that, that Supercell has access to, but I did think that that needed to be changed because I feel like a lot of people felt like they'd never ever be able to get access to certain brawlers. and. That's definitely not something that the Brawl Stars team wanted to go for and definitely not something that they wanted to accomplish. You know, making it so it's it's super, super difficult for people to experience some of the new Brawlers or any of the new Brawlers um, that, you know, they worked so hard on creating. So I think that that's a really, really, really great change and in the long run will be very, very positive and very, very significant. So I'm excited about that. I really, really am. Um, and I think that it's going to be very positive in the future and uh, maybe make it so again It's harder to get to the end game maybe a little more expensive to get to the end game But that it's just better because everyone can experience all the brawlers generally um, And if I completely am misunderstanding this entire thing then and, and it's very possible I am then I'll revise what I'm saying right now, but I do think as it is I uh, I do think as it is right now, it's going to be a very positive change. So we've got another currency that we can get from Brawl Boxes called Tickets. That's going to give us access to these sort of fun modes that aren't necessarily competitive. They're not necessarily made to go ahead and, uh, I guess, give you trophies or give you any competitive uh, gameplay from it or anything like that. Come on, can we, can we do this? Can we? Oh, man. Oh, man, come on. That's going to be the game. All right. Um, they're, they're not necessarily made to give you any competitive gameplay of any kind. They're just basically because they're fun and because people are going to play them together, see how far they can get. It's going to be competitive in sort of a different way because, you know, boss battle, I mean, that's just going to be a lot of fun to play with friends. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play randomly with, uh, you know, random people in a random queue. I think that it's going to be a lot of fun to see how different brawlers work as the boss and how different brawlers work together to be able to take out the boss. I think that it's going to be really fun to figure out strategies for both sides. You know, it's going to be just a fun game mode and it's not 
made with any intention of being competitive, which is awesome. Now, Robo Rumble, a little bit different, more of a survival mode, more like zombies, you know, your typical Call of Duty style uh, survival mode or, you know, any other shooter game for that matter. And it's a really, really awesome thing that I was actually going to be, I was going to bring up a zombie mode of some kind in my video going over uh, what these sort of AI reliant modes um I, I guess just makes possible you know the fact they're willing to do it opens up a lot of doors into different content they could make with the game sort of expand on it like expand on this awesome awesome foundation gameplay that we have in some really interesting ways and the fact they're willing to rely on ai for certain enemies is very very reassuring that they're actually going to be exploring some really awesome uh and, and just unique forms of gameplay and just modes and everything some crazy ideas and stuff um, i'm sure there's going to be some awesome stuff that comes out of their willingness to do that so i'm excited I'm, I'm really really excited for that i'm more excited about the possibilities that it presents than anything else honestly uh just because it there's there's a lot of there's a lot of opportunity for them to expand on the idea which is very 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 cool you know, as you guys know, I'm a bit of a geek when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, pretty excited about that. Um, now we've got a new lobby system. Always nice to hear that when you got sort of a lobby system like we've got right now, which is functional, but definitely not the best it could be. It could be much, 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 much better. You know, obviously, pretty much everyone feels that way. It's, it's definitely functional as it is, but it's not the best it could be. And... From what I've heard, the new lobby system is going to be absolutely amazing, which is great to hear. We've got friendly battles, which is the biggest point in everything today. So friendly battles is groundbreaking. Like it, it's going to be amazing for the future of this game. It's going to be amazing for anyone that wants to do anything competitive with the game. It's going to be amazing for leagues. It's going to be amazing for tournaments. It's going to be amazing for a lot, guys. It's going to be a very, very big deal. And I think that people are going to totally undervalue the fact that friendly battles are going to be in this update until it dawns on them why it's such a big deal and why everyone should be excited about it. So, I don't know. That That's just my thoughts on it. I feel like it's going to be really, really awesome. You guys don't even know how much is going to come from it. And I know that a lot of people in the community are already working on many, many, many different ideas for different... Um, things that they can do just because we have access to entirely planned out games at this point it, it's just it's awesome it really really is just awesome <sighs> okay two more things to talk about one thing that i think a lot of people are going to overlook um that was just not even mentioned verbally but is a pretty big point i think um and then another point that i just wanted to bring up briefly so First and foremost, gold, we're, we're going to be getting gold from from just trophy milestones now, which is, it's nice. You know, we're going to get, I'm sure we're going to get some, uh, some hefty rewards when the update actually does drop, you know, thousands and thousands of gold and all that for people that are way high up in the rankings at this point. They mentioned 200 trophy increments, okay? Which obviously it won't be going forever, you know, that'd mean that people at 10,000 trophies are going to be getting like ridiculous amounts of gold coins i don't think that that's their intention but i think it's sort of just something additionally to uh, something in addition to the normal trophy rewards we get for brawlers and everything like that you know season rewards and all that just to work in addition to it make the progression a little bit smoother that was really freaking stupid if we lose the game over that i'm gonna be really sad that was that was so bad should i should i quit i'm i oh my goodness i can't i can't guys i can't that's gonna be it's gonna be an entirely neutral game. Wow. Nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing happened that entire game. We went into overtime and everything and nothing. Just nothing. That's crazy. Final point. Okay. Final point. I promise. I'm not going to... I, I know I rambled a little bit in this video. You know, that tends to happen when uh, I, I just sort of talk about things off the top of my head without a whole lot of structure. But one more thing I wanted to mention. Daryl was pictured, you know, with his awesome little super and everything, having 5,940 HP in the footage as his maxed out HP. Now, this could be maxed out entirely with his upgrades and everything, or he could be maxed out 
uh or just maxed out like he had his full hp and that's his base hp either way that's tank level hp so he has that level of mobility that his super provides he can bounce off of things as opposed to breaking through them like bull does which means that in showdown he's going to be a monster if his damage output is even close to bull he's going to be so 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 good because you'll be able to bounce off of things in showdown like crazy and i feel like there's going to be some awesome highlights and you know top 10 moments type of stuff that comes out of this particular brawler because his super is so cool and it's gonna have a lot of fun things that happen because of it i just i have a lot of a lot of high hopes for this brawler because in maps where he can be taken advantage of i mean it's gonna be so so fun to witness and i think he's gonna have some very fun teams that go along with him especially if these specials can work in tandem in some way with his super i just i think he's gonna be a lot of fun so i just wanted to point out he has very very high hp if he's maxed out or if he's not maxed out still pretty high hp and you know obviously his super is going to be amazing in quite a few maps but yeah guys that's going to be about it for this one hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope to see you back here for the next video very very shortly and until then guys peace